there are many places where music would actually come into play in YouTube videos, in games, in films, but not all music that is used will sort of suit the right moment because you wouldn't exactly want an action-packed scene to be filled with sort of kids TV show music because it wouldn't go well with what's happening. An example for the YouTube side of things could be Maniac Mike. He uses the perfect music for the right moment. Uh, I'll link him in the description if anyone wants to check out what he does. Whatever music he uses, it fits perfectly no matter what. It always keeps me on the edge of my seat because I don't know what's going to happen next. I have an idea of what's going to happen because the sort of music he uses sets the tone for the video or that point in the video, but you never know what to expect. The same could go for a horror film or a horror game. You'd have the ambient music which would keep you on the edge of your seat all the time, which would either build up to something or you could have different sections of music which would then build up. It might not happen right away when you think the music has peaked, it might keep on building, but when you least expect it, it will happen. The entire time you heard that piece that was playing, you would have been expecting something to happen, waiting for it, but you never know when it's going to happen because different pieces have different sort of build-up times and that's the sort of thing I love about music. The longer it is, the more of a build-up it is and the more intense it gets. An example of a film could be the Resident Evil series. The first film, there's a scene where one of the characters, Rain, is presumed dead and she's about to be shot by Alice, but as that's going on, music is slowly building up to it. But before the music actually peaks, it cuts off and Rain actually stops Alice from shooting her. And then that purely catches you off guard, like puts you sort of in the shoes of Alice as if you were the one going to shoot her. And then suddenly you're stopped from doing it because you're caught off guard as well. So is Alice. That's what I love about music. It can change an atmosphere in anything. Uh, And an example for a game could be Amnesia The Dark Descent. The audio cues in that game are perfect. When you're alone, you have calm ambient music but it's not too calm it will keep you on edge you'll keep it in your mind that there's things after you you've got to worry about the darkness and your sanity you've got to worry about the monsters which will obviously come in with a small audio cue and with that audio cue it sort of adds a little sort of more ambience but it puts you even more on edge because you know if you get seen you will be in trouble and you'll have to sneak your way around a bit more than usual to get past everything. And then if you do get seen, you know you have to run and hide from whatever it is that is chasing you because you know that something is chasing you, but the audio cues that come with the fact you're being chased will get your heart pumping that little bit more. You'll get that adrenaline rush and the only way you will really have to survive is by either running and hiding or dying completely. But that's it from me guys. I'd like to know which games you think have really good audio cues and audio engineering and which YouTubers do you think have good sort of audio editing skills like do they use the correct kind of music for the right moments and that sort of thing. But again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.